Yep, yep, to the yep, yep. You already know what time it is. It's your girl, POC. I'm back in these Philadelphia streets speaking with business owners asking, how are they preparing for the verdict of the George Floyd case? How are they asking the city of Philadelphia to help them prepare so they will not have a similar outcome like they did in 2020 with riots and looting taking place in the city of Philadelphia? Family goes in this court seeking justice. Keep your radios locked. Cops told us just to be on guard, really. There's nothing they could really do. Um, we're just trying to see, like everyone else, I mean, hopefully they get the right, the verdict right, regardless of people are going to riot or whatever. But we're not really doing nothing. We were probably possibly bored up because we got hit pretty bad last time. They took everything, broke everything. Not just here, but on 60th Street, too. And on the store on Woodland. The store on Woodland, we had to close it of how bad they looted it. Hmm. Um, there's nothing we can really do. We can't stand outside and protect the store. We're not going to stop people from coming in if they decide to riot again because last time people were getting beat up, shot. So we could just hope for the best, honestly. W-H-Y-Y. You can find us on um, Instagram at Mobile Connect 123 Our store is Mobile Connect. We have one on 52nd and one on 60th at the market. Keep your radios locked. Um, well, I'm probably, hopefully, I'll just go get some boards and board it up and probably put Black Lives Matter on, on the outside of the boards. And um, I might have security out here. I'm not sure. I Hopefully, it won't come today. W-H-Y-Y. Yeah, this was this is a um, dr- dream, and I'm lucky to actually get this space because I'm from around here. So this is really a good place for me, and I'm happy to be right here in the neighborhood. I just would want everybody to keep peaceful, and you know, it, whatever the the verdict is, it's just it's the verdict. Is we gotta understand that we gotta be more careful and cautious when we're dealing with certain type of people. So I mean, it's nothing we could do. This just been going on since the beginning of time. Keep your radios locked. I'm on Instagram Padressino Showroom and um my address is three twenty nine South fifty second street and then my clothing store is a women's boutique and it's called uh Padressino. Well, you know, we're not expecting any problems. There's nothing we can do if problems come. Because we expect the city to protect us. That's the only thing we can do. So we don't know what's going to happen, and we can't prepare for that. I don't know what we're talking about, for real. We already know injustice is already coming. So how do we prepare for injustice? You know, that's all I can say. I don't have anything else to say. W-H-Y-Y. Yeah, this is an African cultural art form. We've been in Venice. 52 years, we are 52nd and Chancellor in Philadelphia, PA. Keep your radios locked. Definitely needs to be boarded up. Uh, more more police uh, visual of them being out here. I, I don't know if that's going to help if things go wrong, but definitely this needs to be boarded up. Like every time something happens, we come, come down, we have to come down here kind of like, to protect our stuff like so it's, it's either protecting us and then the police we're not supposed to be out here but we also got to protect the stores around here so we've been broken in this block been broken in a bunch of times so if the outcome turns out to not be what everyone wants it to be the police presence isn't going to make a difference um, all the businesses need to be boarded up, black, white, Puerto Ricans, because at the end of the day, the people are just tired. W-H-Y-Y. Keep your radios locked. 90.9 FM. It's your girl, POC. Make sure you follow Revive Radio, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Revive underscore POC. Prepare for something to happen. Where is the funding for the businesses that may need it, that may not have money to, to board up their stores, that may not have money to get locks and do things of buy new windows? Do you guys have like an application that the small businesses can put in to get funding? How can they be helped?